Hello and welcome to a new tutorial by Christoph Werner. Today I will show you how to import an alpha channel or an alpha channel map into 3D code. Um, first I import a model that I prepared for you. The model has a 1K map and I use here the no center snap to import the model. I use it um, every time for everyone who don't know what this means? Uh, no center snap means 3D code takes the center of your model to place it into the center of your scene. If you don't check the box here, 3D code will take your model and calculate the the center of the of the whole model and take it to place it into the scene. And in the most cases, you don't need or you are not willing to. To import uh, to, to, to do a new center, you just want to import your model with the center that is saved in the model. Anyway, um, I import my model. As you can see, it's a flower, and uh, uh, the flickering here is because I am using the mode view and uh, what is it? Uh, smooth shade, and in the smooth shade mode. 3D code is not supporting uh, backface culling. When you when you switch to the render tab, there you can see backface culling is working very nice and very well, and you can see how the model is look like. Okay, now we have this model that was prepared from somebody else, and you as a texture artist have to change the texture, and you. Uh, I have prepared a texture too. I will import the texture. It's a diffuse map that I've used here. Open, and now you can see here is the here is the diffuse texture of the flower. It's very nice, and it looks good. I can show it to you again. This here is the page that I am using currently. But actually, there is another texture that represents the alpha channel of this flower. So my flower is not um, this low poly, or it looks like not low poly, because actually there is an alpha channel that cut out the corners here of the polys. I show you the, the alpha channel, it's this map here. And here you can see uh, my flower borders are a little bit painted and nice and I use and is used for the game. So, how to import the alpha channel into 3D code to get the right uh, the right uh, version? Actually, you do and import textures by using the main menu textures import diffuse map specular map or other maps. But as you can see, 3D code is not supporting um, the import of alpha channels or alpha maps. But you can do this by a workaround, and I show you now how it works. You go to uh, the edit menu and sync layer or sync the layer with the external editor you are using. My external editor is Photoshop. Sync uh, layers with external editor means the page here, the diffuse page I have imported will be loaded into Photoshop and there I can work with this layer. Okay, I do it here now and use this function. Now you can see this is my texture here and I it represents the layer I have imported here. Here is the layer and I can see the layer now here. Sometimes there is a small bug currently in the 3D code version if you are using this function the first time after importing a texture and make some changes, save them, the changes will be sometimes not taken. In this case the changes was taken but it can be happen that your changes will not be taken. So I make undo, undo now, save it again and the changes will be taken to the flower. Okay, back to the alpha problem. When you are in Photoshop and you have your layer, you need to import your alpha channel bitmap into Photoshop. I do this by switching to the alpha channel, oops, here it is, open it in Photoshop, 
and what I do now is I copy my texture of my alpha channel so the texture must be the same size like your diffuse I copy it into my memory and there in my diffuse layer I open a new alpha channel there I copy my alpha channel texture into it and now I have my I have uh, my diffuse with an alpha channel in Photoshop. What I do now is I select the alpha channel here. I make a selection by pressing on the control key and pressing the alpha channel. And now the alpha channel is selected. And I invert my alpha channel because the alpha channel is selecting this area and not this one. Now I take the layer 1 and delete the overlapping elements that I don't need to. Now I save all and go back to 3D code. The changes was taken. You can see the layer 1 have now an alpha channel or deleted elements. When I switch the layer o off then I can see them. Maybe I show it to you here. You can see the alpha channel is now in my flower and I can use it very nicely. But the same what you can see is I have lost all, all my information in my diffuse channel. So when I when I export this again, then Predicode will take this this element outside and will not uh, do a nice bleeding here. And the bleeding you you are needed uh, you need the bleeding for um, for your game engines and but you will lose the bleeding when you use this this version here of your alpha channel. So what I do now is I go back to Photoshop and I do undo to take this the same uh, the version before and now I save the diffuse and the diffuse back in the in the version before. But what I do now is I rename the layer here, diffuse. All your changes in Photoshop will be taken to 3D code. So if you rename here something, it will be taken to 3D code. And what I do now is I make a new layer, what is that is called alpha. And maybe you can, uh, you know what I do now. I, ch I move it down here. I select the alpha channel again, invert the alpha channel and fill it with a color and undo with a color now I have here a, a special an own layer that represents my alpha channel here in, in this layer box and now I save all this go back to 3D code and I have now an, my alpha channel here first I delete this one an alpha channel and my diffuse channel. Now I have a cont completely control over my alpha and over my diffuse. And when I export my diffuse here without alpha in textures, then the bleeding in my texture page will be taken that I need to for game engines. Bleeding means uh, when I show you the, the texture, this is the bleeding. The bleeding is the moving pixels here outside. It's very interesting for game engines. And all of you that uh, who knows it, uh, I don't have to explain it. It's uh, very important. Anyway, um, so okay. To see my alpha channel now is I go to the diffuse layer here and link the layer with my alpha channel layer. Linked layer is at the moment there's no linked layer no mask and what I do now is go to this here and say link it with alpha and um, click on inverse if you have this option then the link will be inversed what means everywhere where a transparent element is you will see your diffuse map and if you click on inverse you will see the map inside the other the alpha layer here now I switch the layer off. Now I have my alpha controlled by a secondary layer. To show you what happened is I can paint now in the alpha layer 
and I will see the changes in the flower. Take another color. I can uh, can take a red or white color too and show it to you. Now I paint here, and you can see the diffuse is can be seen here in these areas because this layer, the diffuse layer, is linked with the alpha channel layer. And now, if I want, I could fill my complete alpha channel layer with uh, with a I don't know white color. So fill layer and lock transparency means uh, the transp transparency parts will be not filled layer fill the O layer will be filled and now I fill the O layer with black for example layer black and now I can take this here and export it separately to an alpha channel texture just by using textures export diffuse map when I export diffuse map my alpha channel map will be exported and it looks like this here I show it to you this is my map and here it is again it can be exported the, the big advantage is I can always uh, keep my diffuse information here for my bleeding and I can paint an alpha channel separately. Okay, this is the tip for today. I hope you liked my video and I would be very happy if you visit my blog and support me as always. Thank you very much. See you. Bye bye.